It's been a triumphant year for the Kenny McPeak stable, but there is one name in particular that has captured the hearts of more than just the racing public. Presence is presence, can you explain it? It's a look in the eye, maybe. Presence, a noteworthy quality of poise and effectiveness. She's got that look. She's capable of beating anybody and she knows that. I think she trains herself extremely strong, so she gets probably fitter than most horses because she's aggressive. She's got a great exercise rider, so he helps a lot to relax her. Sitting on a horse like Torpedo Anna, it's a gift for me because I've been riding from 1960 and I've been on a lot of great fillies and she's number one. It's been a stellar 2024 campaign for Torpedo Anna, highlighted by wins in the Kentucky Oaks, Acorn Stakes, Coaching Club American Oaks, and the Cotillion, whilst just coming up short in the Travers with a gallant effort to finish second. That's racing look, she came flying. And if you watch the gallop out, she was actually four or five lengths in front of him. Um, if you ran that race back, I think she'd be hot favorite. Leaning into the Travers, she was training A1 at her best, top notch, she really was. To me, she feels that way right now, training going into the Buddhist Cup. With her aggressive running style, Thorpedo Anna now looks to cap off her season in the Breeders' Cup distaff. It remains to be seen if we will see her next year as a four-year-old but a win at this year's championships would be a fitting way to end such an impressive season. She's tough, that's why she's a grizzly. But I don't call her a grizzly, I call her my girl. She's my girl. Uh, I told my wife I have another girl in my life, okay? She said, okay. <laughs> the way she's training right now, she's capable of winning, and I think she'd probably win by three or four, because she's not a show off. She likes to win as easy as she can. Topeda is ready to go on that track. I'm expecting her to win the race, nothing else. And she's ready to go. <laughs>